What's going on YouTube? Geosn right here. An important Pelrin jailbreak update is out with some important bug fixes. Let's get into it. Pelrin jailbreak has recently been updated a couple of hours ago to version 2.0.1. The Pelrin team announced in here that Pelrin 2.0.1 is now out with important bug fixes. Going here on GitHub, you can see exactly which fixes we're talking about. But before we get into it, you should know that Pelrin jailbreak supports essentially iOS 15.0 all the way up to iOS 18, beta 5, so iOS 17, 16. 16, 18, these are all supported. It's an impressive jailbreak and it's a modern jailbreak coming with Cilio and Zebra, but it does support only the A8 through A11 devices. Anyway, it's kept updated and the update fixes a lot of things. So at first it says in here, quote, work around the stock bug, not creating the over provisioning volume in 18.0 beta 5, and then attempts to fix pre-boot permissions on rootless. Then we have a couple of loader fixes in here, some weird edge cases, but also the uh, idle timer being fixed in here it says now disable idle timer when attempting to install to avoid aborting when the device sleeps. Then we have in here work around a very specific edge case where the user has manually removed var jb while keeping the fake root intact, prompting the user to reboot the device to proceed with any loader install actions. So there's quite a lot of fixes in here. If you want to get the latest version, what you should do is to go ahead here on their website, press the download, and they only have macOS and Linux versions. If you are a Windows user, you're going to have to use what essentially is live USB Linux, which essentially allows you to boot into Linux from a USB flash drive, do your Pelrain jailbreak thing, then when you reboot your computer you go back to Windows, nothing gets erased. So for macOS and Linux you just copy this command over here, you press that button, you open your terminal, paste that command and input your password. Press enter and that's about it. You get the latest version and if you type Pelrain, now Pelrain works and as you can see it's 2.0.1. You get the latest version and it now works pretty fine. So that's how you update both on Windows and on Linux. Definitely go ahead and get the latest version it does have important fixes and it supports a variety of iOS versions and devices. If you want a full tutorial on how to use Pelrain, I do have a written guide over here. Definitely check it out in the link below. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Gia Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.